For more than 30 years, numerous organizations and agencies have worked tirelessly to recover Montana's threatened grizzly bear. We really had no idea how successful those efforts were in this ecosystem because we didn't have any, any baseline information. So Kendall orchestrated a massive survey to use the DNA from bear hair to count the number of grizzly bears in the Northern Continental Divide ecosystem, which is an area that extends from Missoula and Helena in the south to the Canadian border in the north. The total, 765 grizzlies, more than twice the previous estimates. I wasn't surprised that our population estimate was higher, but the magnitude of the difference, that surprised me. Another surprise was that nearly half of those bears live in Glacier Park, a sliver of the total study area. That was even more of a difference than, than I expected. The genetic information also showed that these bears had a healthy gene pool. Genetic variability uh, approaches levels seen in undisturbed populations in northern Canada and Alaska. While this study may one day lead to the delisting of the grizzly, Kendall hopes the decades of conservation work that got the grizzly to this point will continue in the future. It'll remain important to keep up those efforts to protect what we have remaining and, and keep various portions of the population connected. Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.